right, so we had an augmented equation that was 11, 9, augmented by 393, and 1, 1, augmented by 37. Yes? Okay, yes. so let me show you how to use a TI calculator to solve that. First things first, you need to go into the matrix area of the TI calculator, which is here in yellow. How do you get to the yellow thing? Okay, you push the yellow button, and then you push the thing underneath, so you get matrix. Go over to edit, and hit enter on the matrix you want to play with. So I'm going to play with this matrix A. Then you need to get it the same size as the one you are dealing with. So that augmented matrix is how many, how big? Yeah, it's two by three, so I put two by three. Okay, what does it have in it? 11, hit enter to move to the next one, and it just kicks along. So 11, 9, 393, 1, 1, 37. Okay? That'd be good. So I got it in here now. So now I do second quit will get me out. So now I'm back out to the bottom. Then you need to go into matrix land and go over to math. And the math you want to do is called reref. Why not augment it? Uh, augment will add the, that's how you would put this on there. I find that it's easier to give you fewer commands. So I want you guys to put them in augmented already. It'll make your life a little easier. And then reref is the right thing. So you do reref and then it's going to, it wants you to put in a matrix. So you need to go back into matrix and get the one you were playing with. Which one was I playing with? One, two, three. One, so hit enter on that. And now it's gonna re ref A, and if you hit enter, you get to zero, one, zero, 30, zero, one, seven. Which tells you that you sold 30 adults tickets and seven kids tickets, check, done. But not all of them are gonna do like that? What do you mean? Like not all matrices, you said not all of them are calculable. Yeah, we're gonna do some things uh, that the calculator does not do well. But this guy, chill, do it. So anytime you're solving matrix equations, like the chapter four stuff, chapter three and chapter four, feel free to use the calculator. Um, if you don't have a TI calculator, there are emulator apps for your phone that will make your phone into a TI calculator. Or we can grab a calculator out of the math lab. Cool, questions? Okay, good.